In this lesson, we are going to be dividing polynomials, but unlike in the previous lesson where we had no remainders, in this lesson we will have a remainder. The process that we follow is exactly the same, but at the end we'll just be left with something a little bit different. So here's our first example. So, and by the way, we're not going to be using synthetic division in this lesson, but we will be doing that in one of the next few lessons uh, where we'll be looking at the process of synthetic division. Okay, so what we're going to go do is just go write this out. 4x to the power of 3, take away 6. Actually, I'm going to write it up here. Oh, no, here would be fine, hey? So 4x to the power of 3, take away 6x squared, take away 6x plus 6, and then we're going to divide that by x take away 2. So as we saw in the previous lesson, we're going to take the highest power over here, and we're going to take the highest power over here. So the highest power here would be a 4x to the power of 3, and the highest power here would be x. I want you to divide those, so that's going to be 4x to the power of 3 divided by x, which would be 4x to the power of 2. And so we can write that up at the top over here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that 4x to the power of 2 and you're going to multiply it with this part over here. And so that's going to end up giving us 4x to the power of 3. Well, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm multiplying 4x to the power of 2 by x minus 2. So it'll give us 4x to the power of 3 take away 8x squared. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a sign change. So this will become a negative and this will become a positive. And then we're just going to add these together. So 4 take away 4, that's going to give you 0. And then minus 6 or negative 6 plus 8 is going to give us 2x to the power of 2. And then we're just going to bring the rest down. So negative 6x plus 6. And now we start the process all over again. So we're going to look for the highest power over here. And we're going to look for the highest power over here. So the highest power here would be um, this 1 over there. And the highest power over here would be the x to the power of 2. So you're going to divide those two things. So 2x to the power of 2 divided by x is going to give you 2x. So then you're going to say plus 2x over here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that 2x and you're going to multiply it with this part over here. And so that's going to give us 2x to the power of 2 take away 4x. And then you're going to switch the signs. So this would become a negative, And then this would become a positive. And then you're just going to add everything together. So this part over here would cancel out. And then negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. And then you just bring the positive 6 down. And then we start the process all over again. So we look for the highest power over here. We look for the highest power over here, which in this case is going to be the x and the negative 2x. So you're going to divide those. So negative 2x divided by x gives you negative 2. So you're going to put a negative 2 over here. And then you're going to take that negative 2 and you're going to multiply it with this x minus 2. And so that's going to become negative 2x plus 4. And then you're going to switch the sign. So that'll become a positive, And that'll become a negative. And then the two x's would cancel out. And then 6 minus 4 is 2. That is your remainder. So how do we write that as our final answer? So what you would do is you would write your answer like this. You would say equals. And then this here is your answer. So you would say 4x squared plus 2x take away 2, then you're going to say plus 2 over, because 2 is the remainder, you see that, over this part over here. So 2 over x take away 2. Let's do another example. Here's our next example. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say b3 take away 3b squared, take away 2b plus 9, and then, oopsie, and then over here we're going to say divided by b take away 1. Okay, so what we do is we start with the highest power over here, which would be that, and we start with the highest power over here, which would be that. We divide them. So b3 divided by b is b to the power of 2. So you put b to the power of 2. Then you take this term and you multiply it with that. So that would look something like this. And so that's going to give b3 take away b squared. Then you're going to switch the sign, so negative and then positive. And then you're just going to add those parts together. So negative 3b squared plus b squared is negative 2.
there we go. Now we just start the process all over again. So we look for the largest power here and the largest power over here, which in this case would be this one and this one. And so you're gonna divide those. So negative two B squared divided by B is gonna be negative two B. So you're gonna say negative two B over here. And then what you do is you're gonna take that negative two B and you're gonna multiply it. So that's gonna become negative two B squared, positive two B. And then you are going to switch the sign. So you're gonna switch the sign of this one. So this will become a positive and this will become a negative, and then you just add all of that together. So negative 2b squared plus 2b squared is zero, negative 2b take away 2b is negative 4b, and then just bring the nine down like that, and then start the process again. So you look for the highest power over here, and you look for the highest power over here, and so that would be the b, and that would be the negative 4b, and you divide them, so negative 4b, divided by b is negative four. And then you take that negative four and you multiply it with the b minus one. And so that's gonna be negative four b plus four, which I should be writing over here. I'm not sure why I'm writing it over there. And then what you do is you just switch the signs. So this becomes positive, this becomes negative, and then you just add all of that together. So that would become zero, and then nine take away four is five and that is your remainder. So the way that you would write your final answer is by putting that part at the top. So that's gonna be um, b squared take away two b plus four, sorry, minus four. And then you're gonna say plus, now the remainder was five, and you're gonna say over this part of here, which is b take away one. And then we have one more example. So here's our next example. So once again, we'll start it off by writing it as 2x to the power of 3 plus 12x squared, take away 11x, take away 3, and then we're going to divide that by 5x, take away 4. Okay, so we start with the highest power over here, which is a 5x, and we take the highest power over here, which is a 10x to the power of 3, and we divide them. So 10x to the power of 3 divided by 5x, and that's going to give us... 2x to the power of 2. So we're going to put that over here, 2x to the power of 2. Then what we do is we take that 2x to the power of 2 and we multiply it with 5x take away 4. And so if we're to do that, you're going to end up with 10x to the power of 3 take away 8x squared. Then you switch the signs. So this becomes a negative, this becomes a positive, and then you just add all of that together. So this part would cancel out. 12 plus eight is 20. And then just bring down the 11x and the three. Now we start the process again. So here we look for the largest power over here and we look for the largest power over here, which in this case is going to be the 20 over here and the, sorry, the 20x to the power of two and the 5x, and you're gonna divide those. So you're gonna say 20x to the power of two divided by 5x, and if you divide that, you're gonna end up with four, and then x2 divided by x is gonna be x. And so then we're gonna write our answer over here. So that's gonna be plus 4x. And then what you do is you take that 4x and you multiply it over here. So that would be 4x multiplied by 5x take away four, and so that's gonna become 20, x to the power of two, take away 16x. And so then you just switch the sign, so this becomes a negative, this becomes a positive. And then the 20s and the 20s, they cancel out. Negative 11, negative 11 plus 16 is five. And then you just bring down the three, there we go. Okay, so now we start the process again. So here we have a five x, and here we have a five, well the highest powers are five x, and so you're gonna divide both of those so 5x divided by 5x is one. So you're gonna say plus one over here. And then you take that one and you multiply it with the 5x minus four, which is just gonna be 5x take away four. Switch the signs, this will become a negative, this will become a positive, and so we are left with one. That is the remainder. So the way that you would write your answer is two x to the power of two 
plus 4x plus 1, and then the remainder you would say plus 1 over and then 5x minus 4.